Hey, I'm Anfa. I'm an electronic music producer and sound designer, so I exclusively work with open source software and Linux. In this video, I want to show you my favorite DSing plugin, Air Windows DBS. Let's go. Now, for the purpose of demonstrating this plugin, I have prepared a little bit of testing material. Here it is. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. That's a silly pseudo-sentence I've used to stress test the DSer. And now that I think of it, this sentence would probably do the job too. Anyway, let me play you how does this sound through the DSer now. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. And now again without DSing. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Okay, let me tell you what the heck is going on on the screen. I have prepared a setup where the oscilloscope shows us the difference between dry signal and processed signal. So in red, if I uh, yeah, if I make, for example, D bass only let sibilance through, we have sibilance in yellow and everything else in red. Everything else which is missing. And here, spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. And here we have intact audio in yellow and the difference in red. So the red peaks are what the bass has removed. If you wonder how does this work, I have basically prepared two audio channels, left and right. Right is the dry channel, left is the channel processed by DBS, and they are overlaid on top of each other. And where they overlap, we have yellow. Pretty simple. And I've done this with a bunch of uh, ardor buses and sends. Let's talk about DBS. I'm going to now reset it to its default settings, and this is what it is like. By default, the best does nothing. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trim. As you can see, there is no DSing going on because there, there is, is no red. red. Now, to turn on the best, all you need to do is move intense to the right. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. As you can see, it's very subtle. It gently reduces the peaks of S's that it detects, or Sybil lens. Now, there are multiple parameters. Intense is just one of them. Intense is like a threshold, only like a reverse threshold. So when intense is at 100%, it's going to react to all the Sybil lens that it detects, no matter if they are subtle or very strong. If I set intense to 0.5. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. If I can now overlay the previous version of this uh, oscilloscope display with the current one, I think we'll have a difference that some of the smaller DSs were not touched. Let me move this even smaller, so 0.2. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Yeah, so this is like a threshold. We're moving the threshold so only the loudest parts of DSs are affected. If intense is all the way, we affect everything. Now, what is sharp? Sharp determines um, how the distinguishing algorithm works. Because DBES analyzes the sound, at least that's what I understand from Chris's original uh, explanation. I will also link to his original video where he explains how this plugin works and demonstrates it himself. From what I understand, the plugin analyzes the waveforms and looks for chaotic squiggly bits. 
I think squiggly bits is the technical term that Chris used himself. Ah! And sort of analyzes the sound to look for like up down squiggles that are sufficiently sharp. The sharp parameter determines how squiggly the bits need to be to be considered an a sibilant that needs to be acted upon. So if we move sharp all the way to the right, spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. It's going to be more picky about the frequency content. So DBES is not looking at frequency content. It's not using like a classic filter to determine what needs to be ducked. It's looking at the shape and the character of the waveform. It's a bit different. So sharp, the sharper it is, the less it's going to react to lower frequencies. If I'm going to lower sharp all the way to zero, Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. You can see that now it reacts to much more. It kind of like shaves off a little bit of everything. So if sharp is low, DBES is going to react to less chaotic uh, parts of the waveform. So it's going to be like, we can think of this like a high pass filter on the sidechain signal. So right now the, the high pass filter is all the way down. So the sidechain is going to react to everything. Shift click. Uh, now it's default, so it's like balanced. And now the high pass filter is all the way up. So it's only going to react to the highest S's, the most sounds, not to anymore. Again, this is not a filter. This is just an analogy I'm trying to present to explain how this works. Uh, the actual algorithms are not using uh, typical filters here. Okay, so now we have depth. Depth is like ratio in a compressor. Depth at 0 0.5 means it, I believe, I didn't test it, but I think it's like it leaves 50% of the energy of the S's intact and removes just 50% of it. If we go with depth zero, it's going to remove all the S's energy that is present. Let me play this to you. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. You can see that the red parts are now much deeper. However, there is still yellow bits left over. And that is because um, we have a filter. I've got to go to filter right away, but depth. If we go with depth all the way up, that means ratio one to one. Again, this is not exactly how, this is not a compressor. <laughs> this process, this effect is not a sidechain compressor. Uh, it is working differently and it is working excellently. But if depth is at maximum, DBES is not going to do anything. Regardless of what other Spudding subjective parameters will do. Suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Right. So depth at zero means maximum Spudding reaction. Subjectively. Okay. Now filter. If we turn down the filter all the way. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Now we are not saving any low frequency content from the S's. What filter does is allows us to recover lower frequency content from the removed S's. So if we move the filter all the way up. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish. It's going to do nothing again, but if we move it a little bit down. Sub spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. This makes our de act more like a dynamic shelving EQ that is only dicking, dipping the top of our frequency uh, spectrum rather than an attenuator that just dips everything, okay? So filter at zero means we are uh, attenuating all frequencies equally when S's are detected. And the higher you set the filter, the more you preserve the low frequency content. So if we want maximum removal, 
Putting's objectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. If you want to remove everything as is 100%, which is a valid use case, because you could copy and paste this same thing and just switch the best to the sense vox mode, which is going to give you the opposite of that. So it's going to give you only the S's that it removes in the S mode. And then you can, for example, apply reverb to your vocal track only on the de signal and then mix it back with the S's, which are individual. And you can also like process the S's separately, like I use a compressor, an EQ, whatever you want, and mix them together. You can do very sophisticated, crazy things. Um, <laughs> thanks to this uh, function, but also the sense on Vox is pretty much it's like sidechain monitoring. So you can hear what the best is removing rather than what the result of its processing is. So now you can see we have only the S's. If I move the filter to its default position, which is 0 0.5, and play again. Well, that clearly is high-passed, right? Let me high-pass this even more. So this is what we are removing. If filter is higher, we are not removing low-frequency content from the S's, which is a good idea because otherwise it's going to sound pretty weird. That's why by default it's on 0 0.5. But if you want to completely separate your DSs, your sibilants, and maybe process them separately on a different bus, like I said, with a custom compressor or EQ or whatever, you can disable the filter by turning it all the way down, and then you're just removing everything. Which is pretty funny. Okay, now... The Vox monitoring or like, yeah, the, the monitoring mode is very useful because we can hear that the bass is still removing a little bit of the vowels here. So I think what we can do is up the sharp. Sustain substan. Okay, let's try more. Sustain substan. Okay, I'm not sure it does what I want it to do. Let's go with sharp zero. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatline. Yeah, okay, so now if sharp is at zero, it's so reactive to low frequencies that it really just messes up everything. So if we move it up... Interesting, it now does better than when I moved it all the way up, maybe? Yeah. It's awesome, like this visualization really helps me figure out that, hey, it really doesn't do what I think it does in the highs. All right, so this seems like the mode that would remove the maximum thing. So let's say, Sharp at 25, 0.25, depth and filter at 0, intense at 1, and sense at is like what you want. Let's listen to the process signal, not the residue. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Interesting it didn't touch the filth. I wonder if I can make it do that with... Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. No, I think filth is never gonna happen. Objectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. <laughs> it doesn't want to touch the filth even if I'm um, chewing up everything else. Okay. But that's an interesting uh, thing. I wanted to have the Fs uh, in this sentence as well to see how it will react to those. But they are admittedly much, much quieter than the other stuff. Okay, so if you go with sharp too low, it's going to apply very weird kind of distortion to your spockle. Tempting suspicion of sugar trimming. 
And I guess if we enable like filter. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Oh, with the filter on, the zero sharpness is actually sounding very smooth. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. It's like, it's like it's removing. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. It's like it's removing the sharpness from from the from the vowels as well. Like it's like rounding off the waveforms. I want to actually zoom in. Spudding subjectively tempting system. Spudding sub Okay, uh Yeah, so we can see we have S's that are attenuated, yeah, and then we have a vowel. Yeah, this is really interesting. You see, we are monitoring what we're removing. So we're removing these tiny pulses from every single vocal cycle. Oh, wow! Let's try this in reverse and see what the process is. Okay, so we are removing, we are pretty much removing the, the edge. And this is amazing. It really sounds. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. It sounds almost like a low pass filter, but not entirely. Wow, that is fascinating. I. I never tried that. And I've been using this plugin for quite a while. Okay, DBS is a huge amount of fun and it's an excellent tool. And now I'm not just using it for vocals. I'm also using it for drums. You know, hi-hats and snares, they also have very prominent highs. Or a tambourine. <laughs> a tambourine can really make you suffer. So I think D-Bass is a great tool uh, for taming these kinds of sounds. Now, we've been processing a raw recording that was not processed in any way. But S's are becoming a much bigger problem after you apply EQ and compression. So let's do that. I'm going to bypass DBS. I'm going to go to the source. And I'm going to apply a parametric equalizer. So our sweet vocal. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion. We want to make it brighter. Spudding subjectively. Spudding subjectively. And yeah, I'm over exaggerating it a bit too. Spudding subject. To make it harder for ourselves. Spudding subjectively tempting. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. I'm gonna cut here. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish. <clears throat> okay, now we have this kind of hyped radio voice. But we need a compressor still. I'm gonna use Ace Compressor, which is a, an Ardor stock plugin. X42 EQ is not, but it is a open source plugin that I think I've covered. Oh, maybe I haven't. I need to do that then. Okay, let's compress this. Spudding subject. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains. Sub now I am overdoing this. Spudding subjective. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming. Okay, so before. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion. And after. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion. Now let's debest this. Spudding subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Okay, this is a bit ridiculous because we we have sharp so so low. I'm gonna go with sharp, which is like here, and let's. Okay. 
Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Okay, and this versus... Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Yeah, so without this DSing, this is unlistenable. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. At least unlistenable on my headphones. Uh, there is a little bit of noise after uh, the recording ends. Or maybe it was my beard like heating it. <laughs> I don't know. We can trim that and do it like this. Turbulence of flatlined filth. That's better. The rest of the video is an explanation on how I made the visualization and some extra stuff. So if you've been here only to learn about the bass, that's pretty much it. You can go now. Go! Okay, one f extra thing that I'm doing that I haven't told you about yet is I'm applying DC offset removal. So how does this whole testing thing works? I have the source track, which plays the signal. Now we are applying EQ and compression to it. Then there are two sends created with right-click new aux send and bus. Okay, so this is the bus that, that the, the bus is on. And after the besting, I apply DC offset remover. DC offset remover is a special high pass filter aimed to remove DC offset, which means direct current present as a component in the alternating current or variable current. Who knows? Basically, the waveform is asymmetric. If I disable DC offset remover on DS and on dry signals, I'm going to show you how the analysis works or looks. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. And it gets a little bit asymmetric at times. And also the bass, especially if I disable the filter. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Look, like here, it just like there is a, we can see a little bit of green here. So it like, and he all, as well here. So there is some DC offset that is being added as a result of DBS. So I think it's safest to add a DC offset remover afterwards. And if I just apply it to DBS. Putting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. You can see that the green waveform is much more centered. Uh, but the red one isn't. That's because this recording was not processed at all. Objectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. And here both are DC offset removed and they align pretty well. So I did that to make it mostly easy, easier to compare visually what's going on. Uh, but it, I think it's also a good idea to have a DC offset remover after you apply DBAS if you're doing something extreme like like this. So I don't know how it's how it would sum up if you like had one track with DS vocal and other track or bus with everything but the S's and then sum them back together. Maybe D, DC offset removal would cause some trouble there. I don't know. Let's put it all together. All right. So to recap, DBS is an excellent DSR plugin. It's free and open source software created by Air Windows, which is a project by Chris, uh, available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. The plugin controls are as follows. Intense is like a threshold. Sharp is like a high pass filter on the size chain of a compressor. Depth is like a ratio. Filter is like a high pass on the uh, actual compressor. So like you're high passing what you're removing. And sense is either you listen to what to the result of the processing or you listen, listen to the residue, which is the S's themselves. The plugin comes by default working like that. 
So it does nothing because the intense is at zero. If you turn the intense at one, it's gonna work and it's gonna do its job. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. But for example, in this uh, piece of <laughs> vocal, I don't think that is sufficient. So I would um, first, I would lower depth. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Oh, that's better. And then I would lower sharp as well and see what happens. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. Now you may say this sounds weird and unnatural and that there is way too much DSing going on. Sure, you can back it up with depth. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar but to me, this is painful already, so I would have more depth. Spotting subjectively tempting suspicion of Turkish sugar trimming sustains substantial turbulence of flatlined filth. All right, that is all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. I hope you will add the best to your plugin arsenal. I really believe every vocal track needs one instance of this plugin after you compress and EQ. Because, yeah, I think, you know, even dynamic microphones like the Shure SM57 or SM58, they still can sound pretty, pretty hissy. People who have headphones with more high frequencies will also suffer more. So it's uh, good to be able to like, you know, monitor on different systems. <sighs> yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. I also want to thank everyone who is supporting my work financially. Thanks to these people, I can justify taking the time to make these videos. Thank you. And if you, dear viewer, would like to join these awesome people, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa, where you can give me a dollar a month. Every little bit helps. Oh, and if you'd like to meet other people who are using free and open source software for music production and audio stuff, a lot of them are using Linux as well, please go to my community chat at chat.anfa.xyz and you can meet me there and see some of my videos early and hear some of my music early and give feedback and help me fix errors before I publish videos, etc. Get inspired, take part in Libra Music Challenge, learn about new software, learn about new music, tips and tricks, get in touch with the community, all that good stuff. <laughs> that was a nice pitch, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, oh I still have my coffee. Oh, and huge thanks to Chris from Air Windows for making this plugin and continuing to make awesome plugins. We love you, Chris. Now go and install the best.